Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to perform the experiment related to circumference. For this, we need to construct a vehicle that travels in a straight line. Once you have constructed the vehicle, keep the vehicle on the ground and then mark the place where the wheel and ground are touching each other. Mark both the wheel as well as the ground. Start moving the vehicle until it completes exactly two rotations. Here it has completed one rotation and now it is going to complete two rotations where we are going to stop. We are going to measure this distance. This comes approximately 44 cm in our case. And now our circumference is same as the distance traveled by the wheel divided by number of rotations. We have taken two rotations. So the circumference of the vehicle is 22 centimeter. Now we will perform the same experiment using another wheel, the yellow wheel. Once we complete the experiment with yellow wheel and obtain the readings, we are going to fill this chart. So initially we will fill the records for red wheel. We have taken two rotations and for me the distances were 43.9 cm and 44.1 cm. I took two readings. First the distance came 43.9 cm. In the second reading it came 44.1 cm. But this was for two rotations. So what was the distance for one rotation? I will divide this reading by 2 and get the distance per rotation. And that is 21.9 cm for the first reading and 22.05 cm for the second reading. And average of these two readings is 22 cm. So for red wheel, my circumference came as 22 cm. Now we will measure the diameter of the red wheel. And I find that the diameter of the red wheel is 7 centimeters. Now we will find the ratio of circumference to the diameter. And that is 22 upon 7 and that comes as 3.14. Note that there is no measurement unit here because it's a ratio. Similarly, we will write down our readings for the yellow wheel and calculate the ratio C upon D. You observe that the ratio of C upon D for yellow wheel also is 3.14. That means the ratio has not changed even when the distance traveled by the vehicle when we used yellow wheel was more. Because the diameter also was more, the ratio of circumference to diameter remained same. And this ratio of circumference to diameter is a constant called as pi. While doing the experiment, you need to remember some key points. They are, you must make a vehicle using single motor driving two wheels to ensure it travels in straight line. And you must take two readings and find average so as to minimize the errors. Carry out the experiment, find out your readings, find out the ratio C upon D and check if it comes same for you as well. Happy experimenting!